All right, guys, we got another one for you here. This one we'll be aiming for the Lucky Sevens, and we also have a Power Shot. So using the Bubble Craps, since we don't have to worry about having the exact amounts, we're going to do $5 all the way across the top for the Lays. And sometimes we'll get lucky to get that. So nearly $20 up already. And while the puck is off, we will continue to do the same thing. And we are starting out up a little bit, but it doesn't pay for the entire table. So we have two units across, double down to start, two units on the comb, and one in the field. Uh, if you have to play the pass line because you're a shooter, then that is your choice. Uh, if there are other people at the table, I would say just let them roll and just take your bids. So with that, for every win, we're going to put $5 on the odds, $5 or $6 in this case on the winning number. And we'll take a second combat with a field. And the reason I do this is if we have the unlucky part to hit the 2 or 12, uh, the come and the field basically pay for each other. And that is one bad way it could go. We did save $10 because we had 10 on the come. And we are down of $57.04. So let's see if we can bring that back using this system. Three craps line away. I'm glad we don't have to play uh, pass line on bubble craps. <coughs> because with uh, bubble craps, as long as you're in casino, you do not have to play the pass or don't pass. And all you have to do is have some kind of active bid out there. There we are. So we have our reset to double the field. As I said, the payout pays for the come bet, and we keep the $5 in the field. Alright, now we take our odds, one unit there, one unit on the five, and we go for the second combat. And we have that one there. So that was a win, we're going to take the odds on the five, odds on the eight, and six on the eight for the place. And I like to do one more field bet. If it continues to win, we let it ride, and once it fails, it goes away. Just like that. So we are now down uh, $58.54. Uh, let's not drag this one out any farther. Let's go ahead and switch to the bigger buy-in. Uh, this one, you can break it down to, uh, like say, a $15 minimum table. Uh, you could do 30 and uh, 18, 30 and 36 across. But for this, using the real table, we have to do the proper lays for a proper payout, uh, which will be 40, 30, 24s, and so on and so forth uh, at the minimum level. And we got a seven winner. A nice way to start. So let's see how that compares on the higher bid. Oops. So we officially need three wins uh, of seven pay the line in order to pay for our table without any risk at all. But as before... We're just going to go ahead and take our another seven. 
and this time we are losing 30. So everything goes down. We got two units across, two units on the come, and one unit on the field. And again, you may have to pay the or play the pass line or don't pass based on whether or not you're the only one at the table uh, or if you decide to be the shooter. So with an 11, you could really just kind of pocket that and count that as one of your come bets, which I think we will, we will do this time. Or since we hit that and lost 25, We'll just go ahead and go back and do two comb bets, same as the original. And we have the one unit press, one unit press, and two on the come again. And it's on opposite ends. That can be good and it can be bad. So press, press, and press, and we're just going to leave the field bet alone. This will be our third field bet, and it is going to be let it ride or let it die. So we have a hit right away. That's nice. And with one hit, uh, not very far in, we are at five fifty-five up with a three hundred and ten dollar bet on the table. This is why I like this system. It is more of a slow grind on the lower amounts, but the higher amounts really, really pay off. So, still, we're going to take the press on the 10 and press on the 4 odds for the contract bet. And let it ride. We lost the field, but we got the 5. Still up $10 on that roll. And when you come to a situation like this, since we won on the five, we're going to press it up, make sure all our bets are still off, and we're going to press up the odds on the four. That one we do want on. So now we will take all the lays across the top that do not have a contract bet. So say if the 10 still had a contract on it, uh, this bet would no longer be here, and we would leave the odds active as well. Twelve craps lying away. No change on the board. Ten easy. We lost 40 on that one. That one smacked us a little bit. But it's okay because we are still in profit zone. We are 140 up in the rack, even if we lose everything right here. And we did. So let's go ahead and refresh, see if we can get a different uh, turn of events. Just to see if we can show a bad one. And we'll take the minimum across the top. 40, 30, 24s. And we lose 30. Fall down. Double tap across. And then 2 to 1 ratio. And don't forget, every single win, we press a unit, which will be 30 on the 6 or, or the 8. And we start our second come bet. Three single the field. We lost 25 on that round. So we're just going to go ahead and retry. Three single the field. We have officially lost the full come bet now. That's all right. We will still continue to try. 
and Southern Outline away. That is how it can go very south. We kind of nibbled away at our little winnings and then took everything. So we are down $335. Let's see if we can bring that back with a win. See if it can come back in our favor. Six, we lose the smallest one. That's always nice. And I do actually like having uh, the point on five, six, or eight, and the come on four, nine, or ten. Even though nine and ten, or sorry, four and ten are harder to roll, uh, I like those because they are field, and we can continuously stack our field bet. So two, two, and one. 10, easy 10. That's one for the field. Press, press, and come. Seven out, line away. So we are now down $731. Let's see if this system is strong enough to make a comeback with Two come bets being hit. Let's hope that we hit that. Maybe we'll even get lucky and get some back on this one. Nope. So, alright, still another small loss, and it's on the eight, one of my three favorites. And winner eight. So this is where we add 30, but we're gonna make sure the bets stay off. Add 25, that one stays on. And then we take our minimum uh, lays. And we lose the 10, so that's another 40 down. These go away. And we'll take another common field. And seven out. So, 350. Let's just see if we can have any kind of luck. Any kind of luck. Let's see if we can get our 1500 back. Eight. One, two, three. I don't think I have enough to try it. All right. So if we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and just play across. Take our 70. And now we have enough to do our come and our field. We lose the field, and we hit that one, and press, and press, and since I don't have enough, we're going to wait one more roll for the next come bet. And technically, we should press and press. But just to get this one out there, we're going to go ahead and skip that. Seven outline away. So, if you see seven somewhat regular, this is not a system for you. Maybe if it comes in at the right time, maybe if it's always while the puck is off, that would be beautiful. But if you have a long roll, it takes a few hits and you can quickly get the board paid for and then quickly uh, pretty much double your money with the second or third power shot. I do suggest stopping the come bets after two successful wins, but it is up to you if you want to continue to do so. With that said, be smart, be responsible,